Hey guys, welcome back to another Preset Biz video. So today we're gonna to be remaking the latest banger from Joel Corey, which is I Wish with Mabel. Let's dive into the verses and builds today, and then on Friday we'll do the chorus. So let's jump straight into a fill and see what we can do today. So right off the bat, I've decided to make those weird, eerie chord sounds you hear right at the start, which are kind of like piano sounds layered with pads and just various elements. And so the first preset I'm using is actually an M1 plugin, uh, and I'm using this preset here called Piano and Synth Vibe, which is just exactly what I was looking for. I think I've added in this layer here called Magic Piano. So this is how it sounds and playing the chords that we've got it sounds like this So straight away I grabbed the M1 for this because I just felt like a lot of the sounds were coming from that M1 kind of era. And then all I've done is just duplicated that layer and I've just put the root notes in so we're getting basically a layered bass sound. So all together from the start we have this. Next up we have this string which is a rising string preset you can get in Car Music Volume 2. Uh, so this is just holding one note, it's a drone kind of string sound just playing in the background. Uh, and the note is an A note. So this is how it sounds in the mix. Next up we've got some claps which are introduced right from the beginning and these ones are from Piano House Volume 1. We then have the introduction of the organ bass which again you can't really create with another preset, it's got to be the M1. Uh, so what I've done is I've grabbed an M1 house organ preset and I'm playing this MIDI here. I should probably quickly show you that preset. So this is an M1 house split preset, which you can get in just the M1 again. If you go on here, I believe it's just straight up in the piano. Uh, it's in the piano library, it's the third one down. So next up, we're introducing the pianos, which come in right from the builds, and these are used again in the chorus as well. So here are the chords of the piano. And instantly you recognize again it's an M1 house piano sound so that's the same preset as before but it's just kind of focusing in on the higher notes where the piano is. I've then layered this up with an FL keys preset which is just super simple to do uh, and I think I've got a grand piano preset which I've just tweaked as you can see here and you can copy it. This is a really basic piano sound but it really added in all those frequencies that were missing and just thickens up the whole sound overall. So here as you can see we've got some love filter which is being automated so this just does a low pass on the sound and slowly opens it up right before the chorus. So the next element we have is this little sample here which I've made uh, just from taking the first stab of the piano sound and then putting a big reverb on it and then uh, exporting that and then reversing it in and it gives you a nice reverse kind of sweep into the piano sound. So now we start introducing some more drums into the build. Um, firstly with this kick sound here which is from Piano House Volume 1. It's a super lightweight kick, kind of sits under the whole mix, but gives it that movement. We then have this shaker loop from Piano House Volume 1. This gives it a really nice groove underneath the whole track. And then we have this march and snare, which is being played under the whole build section. Uh, so here what I've done to automate the volume is just control the velocity. It's really basic stuff, just repeated notes, and I think I've got a little bit of swing on there to give it a bit of movement. So to go with that, we also have this more present snare, which is more in your face uh, in the second half of the build here. So this is a Fish in the Lake Volume 2 sample, and I'm just automating the volume. So now we've got the introduction of some kind of transitional elements here uh, at the start of the build. So I've got an impact, which just adds a lot of air to the whole style and a big noise down if exhaust as well. And then to finish off the transition on the other side, we've got loads of sweeps here which come in, uh, some tonal ones and some noise ones. Okay, so that's all the production covered for the verses and the builds in this song. Uh, we're gonna go take a listen back to everything all together now. And if you pop back around on Friday, you'll see we do the chorus. Uh, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you won't miss that. But let's go back around and check what we did in today's video. I wish, I wish I could hear you say my name. I didn't have myself to blame It's you 